Thank God for people. Thank God for people. Amen, somebody. Thank God for people. Your advancement, your movement in life is tied to people. Everything that you will experience is attached to people. And hopefully after this message, I can shift your perspective on how you see people. Let's pray. Father, we thank you. Thank you for your love, your grace, and your mercy. God, we ask that you may just have your way in this time, in this service. God, would you please release the anointing that makes preaching and teaching easy. May I move in the boldness of the Spirit, not counting my physical limitations, O oh God. But as your anointing is released, oh God, let me be bold to declare your word, your truth, so that we may experience transformation. God, I pray that you may speak right revelation today. Even though the subject may be simple, God, I pray that you may go deep, that you plant the word deep in our hearts that we may produce fruit. In Jesus' name we pray, amen. You may be seated. Thank God for people. Thank God for people. Um, I'm gonna go quick and lay this foundation. Outside of God, Outside of God, things are things that we are universally thankful for. When we, you know, thank God. We thank God for his love. We thank God for his mercy. But outside of God, there are certain things that we are universally thankful for. One of those things that we're universally thankful for is hot water. Praise the Lord. Amen, somebody. Hot water. Hot water. Yes. Hot water. We're thankful for that. We're also thankful for air conditioning. That's how we deal with this, this heat down south. Air conditioning is a blessing. Amen. When, when that thought, that idea entered that person's mind, that was divine. Flesh and blood have not revealed this to you. But my father in heaven, whoever thought about air conditioning and hot water and hot water. Also, for some out there, I'll just throw you guys a bone. Coffee. Go ahead. Yeah, okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, okay. We got one. <laughs> coffee. We're thankful for coffee. And for me, for me, the greatest invention ever created was the remote control. The remote control. Amen, somebody. That right there. Because before the remote control was created, the remote control was mobile. It was called your children. Amen. Go change the channel. No, stop. Right there. All right, come back. Uh, I don't like that channel. Go back. Change that. Change that. Now I got two remote control. I got a mobile one to go get me the remote control. Go get me the remote control right there. Yep, that one right there. All right, bring it back. Bring it to me. All right, boom. Got it. So we're thankful for that. But as good as those things are, right, as nice as those things are that we're thankful for, there is something else that beats all of, those, all of those things when you put them all together. And my fear is that because of its abundant availability in society, we will take it and we will treat it as common. See, we should be universally grateful for this, but we're not. Today, I want to talk about the importance of being thankful for people. I want to talk about being thankful for people. Uh, I recently read an article that says that we have now passed over 8 billion people on the planet. That's a whole lot of bodies. God is so good. One man he created. And in our time, over six plus thousand years later, Adam is still producing. Over 8 billion people. You see how good God is? See how divine he is? He only created man one time. And now over 8 billion are currently walking the planet. And the interesting thing about that is in time, no two are ever alike. Right now, no two are ever alike. In time, in the future, in the past, no two will ever be alike. My goodness, how good God is. How brilliant. I don't even have the words to articulate how awesome he is. When you just look at how he created us and how he wired us and how he made us different, how he made us unique, that God is so meticulous that he created only one version of you in human history. That is awesome. 
Like, if you understand that, you will appreciate yourself. Like, man, God did not waste his time. God did not waste his creativity. He did not, uh, he did not waste his spirit. He did not waste time. Like, he only created one version of you ever. So don't let anybody treat you any type of way. There's only one version of you. Don't take no junk from anybody who want to diminish your value. There's only one value. See, the value of something is determined by how many we got. If we got a lot, then the price is cheap. But when the, 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 the quantity or the supply shrinks, the value increases, and there's only one version of you. Look at somebody and say, I ain't cheap. I ain't cheap. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Look at somebody and say, hey, I ain't cheap. I ain't cheap. I may, not, I may not show myself a certain way. I may not put expensive things, but I ain't cheap. Don't, don't think for a minute that you don't treat me cheap. It's only one version of you. And so we have to understand that when, when, when we see that he created everyone different. My question is this. When was the last time that you stopped and appreciated people in general? When was the last time that you, that you stopped and thanked God for people? In general, see, if we change our perspective on how we view people, we can be more effective and efficient in life. I want you to write this down. Life is better with people. Life is better with people. One of the things that I love to do is when I go out to certain places, not all the time, but when we go out to certain places, or especially if you're in a different city in a different country, I like to people watch. Am I the only one? Just, you know, and we sometimes talk scenarios. Look, I think they're having an argument. Oh, boy. Yeah. You, let, just look at look, look, look how she's talking to him. Look, look, look. Okay, look, that child over there, he about two seconds from getting his head. Boy, I like to people watch. Life is better with people. People are the prize. God crowned his creation with people. When he said it's not good for man to be alone, he wasn't necessarily talking about that man needs to be married. He was saying it's not good for only one version of himself to be there. There needs to be other humans on the planet. Then man can really accomplish the purpose that I created him for. If you never get married, you still need people. Amen. Because people bring a certain dynamic to life that without that, you're missing it. There's nothing like knowing and connecting with people, connecting with the right people. It's extremely important. See, see, anything that is contrary to that is demonic, that you need people, that life is better with people. So anything that divides people is demonic. Amen, because God created us to be interdependent. God created us to be succinct with each other. So anything that divides people is demonic. So classism is demonic. Racism, bigotry is demonic because it segments off people. It prevents people from really enjoying each other to the fullest capacity. It's demonic. Amen, somebody. Yes. Communism. Yes. is the, Oh, I'm going to throw this one out there. Religion yes. is demonic. Religion is demonic, y'all, because it separates people. It separates people. It doesn't bring us together and to accomplish the purpose of God. So anything that separates people is demonic. Yeah, so what I want to do today is I want to talk about the importance of people. I want to talk about the importance of people. With the time that I have, I want to talk about five types of people to be grateful for. Five types of people to be grateful for. I want to help you in your relationships. Hopefully, this list allows you to expand your social circles. Hopefully, this list allows you to go through life and not feel scared, intimidated, or have to be antisocial. Amen? Because God didn't create you to be antisocial. You are a social being. For the fact that you can speak 
is proof that you should be social. Amen? So, so I want to give you this list real quick. Five types of people to be thankful for. The first type of people you should be thankful for 